Hey everybody, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner, and I uh, didn't post any videos last week. I was doing some traveling, didn't have access to uh, my regular recording setup. So apologies for that, but I've got some this week, so let's just dive right in. Had somebody email me a question about file management in Pro Tools, and how to send just certain files with a session if you want to send it off for overdubs, uh, to have someone track base, for example. So we got a little small session here, and I'm going to show an example of that. So I've got a guitar plugged in. Not routed to the main outputs. Now we can hear it. We're going to do a quick recording. All right, so that's lovely. We want to do a few more takes of that so we can maybe comp those together later. That was also beautiful. And we'll put a third one on here just for the sake of example. Okay. So now, if you watch the playlist video that I did, you saw that I'm using playlist to keep track of these different takes. Mute that. And now they're all here, and we just simply switch between them to listen to each different take. Now, let's say these were all great, but we decided that that last one was the one we want in the song. Now, imagine that this is a full session. We've got a full drum kit that we did several takes on. We've got a bunch of guitar parts, a bunch of vocal parts, and we don't want to lose those because we want to have access to our takes in the future. Say we need to replace a, a certain bar with something different in the future. If we delete those takes, we're, we're done for. We can't go back and change it. But when we want to send this session out to somebody else, to record something, we can send them a mix, but maybe we'll want to send them the entire session so they can do their own mix and play around with it. But we don't want to send them all the extra playlists. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save, we'll save the session first, of course. And as you can see over in this regions window, in the regions bin, I guess, you'll see all three uh, audio files are there. Now that's going to be important in just a second. So we've got this session here. Now we want to save a new version of this. So we're going to save this as you know, something silly, to be sent off. I don't know. So now we've got a new a new version of this session. So if we go look in, uh, in our hard drive, we'll see that there's two sessions here now. This is the original session, and this is the one that we're working on now. So we don't get out of there. Okay, so we got a new session, and we only want to send this playlist. So we can go ahead and remove the others. So we're going to come in here and hit Delete Unused. And we just select the playlist that we don't want anymore for this particular session. So we like to select those, delete them, everything's good. But you'll notice up here in the corner, all those audio files are still associated with this session. So we don't want that. So we're going to come in here, and this is something a lot of people don't really know how to use very well, and go to Select Unused. And you'll see that the first two takes that I just deleted from the playlists are sitting here selected. Now we come to Clear, and we'll get a little pop-up menu that says, Removing these regions from the session, do you want to remove them from the session or do you want to delete them permanently from the disk? So deleting them permanently would obviously take them off of the hard drive entirely so you can never get them back. We don't want that. But we do want to remove them from this session. So now they're removed. So if we were to open up the other session, you would notice that those files are still there and those playlists are still there. But in this particular session, we've removed those. So now we don't have any other playlist to go by. We are just sending one file as opposed to three. And the reason that's important, if you had a 24-track session with multiple takes on each track, that becomes 24 times two or three audio files that you're sending. So it'd be a huge, a huge folder full of files that you wouldn't even need to send because they just need the best takes to do their recording over. So now what we do is we want to save an entirely new session. So we have this saved in this folder, but obviously if we come back over here and take a look in the audio files folder, the, all the files are still there. So we want to make a new, entirely new session folder. So what we do is we come here to Save Copy In, and you select your settings here, and we're going to go All Audio Files are going to get copied over. And I'm not going to go through the rest of this, but it's Audio Files is mainly the one. So now this is going to be called Copy Of To Be Sent Off, which the naming is horrible, I apologize. We'll save this to the desktop and hit Save. Okay, and real quickly there you saw it copy the files. Now, if you'll come with me back to the Finder window 
and we're going to go find that session we just saved. So we'll come to the desktop, and here it is right here, copy of to be sent off. So if you look in here, this is a new Pro Tools session folder entirely. This is what we're going to actually email or you know send in a hard drive to our friend. And here's the session, and here are the audio files. So as you can see, he's only getting the files that he needs and not all that extraneous stuff that wouldn't help. And then you can always import his recording back into your session. But if we were to come back over to the oops, to the glyph drive, we'll notice that the original session still has all the files. So nothing's been lost. If we were to open up this session here, the original one, we'll see that on the in the regions window to the right, everything is still there. The playlist will still be there. But now you can send one off without all the playlist, a little less confusion and um, get things done. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. If, if it was, I apologize. I can do this video again if we need to. But I hope that answers your questions. And if you have any further questions on that, leave a comment on the blog, homestudiocorner.com. Happy to answer those. And uh, hopefully we'll have a few more, maybe a few more videos in the future on file management, some other things to do to clean up your sessions and things like that. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you around here soon. Bye.